So after the K conversion for the CZ Scorpion, we're gonna show you all how it shoots now. So. Hey Terry, watch, hey. Your, watch your hands. Yeah, that's why I got a hand stop. <laughs> it's awful short. It is short. <laughs> this, thing's, this thing's tiny. All right, let's see what it does. I'm gonna step away. <laughs> That'd probably be a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Man. You know what? This thing is right on. That's good. Right on. Easy to bring back the target. Recoil on it's minimal. So, you wanna give it a shot? Oh, heck yeah. Might as well. Okay. Let's see if I like this any better than the PAK-9 that we did. I'll put that here. And if you remember, you know, this, we did some modifications to the safety and the grip and now the forearm and the barrel and the folding mechanism and my gosh. <laughs> I think that there's not many stock parts on this thing. Yeah, left. if you could just buy a receiver. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see what happens here. Well, it shoots so good, I got the target swinging, and it fell in the mud. <laughs> it's shooting directly point of aim. That's just putting a barrel in it. That's just uh, putting the sights back on. Everything has changed with this gun, and it shoots pretty good. I mean, it's right on. I'm going to uh, take a few more shots. There's a old bowling pin down here. I'm gonna see what it'll do on it. And it put a hole in it. Hang on just a second, let me uh... Okay, let's put it on safe. Switch this around a little bit here. All right, go ahead. <laughs> you know, for um, this had no siding in at all. I mean, Terry just put the first magazine in it, and uh, I put part of the second one in there. Was hitting that steel target center, 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 and had it swinging, and then mud just made it fall over. Then the bowling pin next to it there didn't have a chance. No. No, it's you were just, nailing it every single oh, time. Every single time. It's just right there. It with that short barrel. Uh, and I'm glad I did that. The thread protector's coming off. <laughs> but uh, uh, didn't change anything back here. Nothing here. I guess. Uh, that is a solid shooter. You got your money's worth so yeah. far. I mean. I don't know if it's a 100-yard gun. <laughs> Maybe we need to find out. Yeah. yeah Maybe we need what... to bring out the uh, a couple pistols. Yeah, yeah, and shoot this and, against uh... some handguns. I mean, you've got more support. No, no, here, no. Here, I'm talking here, about here, the 762 uh, but... by 39 pistol. Oh, yeah, And yeah. the pistol that you just shot in the yeah. uh, previous video. Yeah. And uh, that one, maybe... Uh, yeah, it's... Uh... SBR. Because, I mean, that's, that's still... That's nuts. Yeah. I mean, One thing that I wanted to try is shooting with it folded. Yeah. Well, I guess you probably have another magazine, don't you? I have one more, yeah. Okay. Well, I guess you ought to try that. Uh-huh. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Okay.
this thing is balanced enough and lightweight enough that I mean you can literally can't really see very well like that need a red dot aha uh -huh. now we're gonna give it a shot like this Yeah, I can't really see what I'm, uh, there we go. Well, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Try it. Yeah, just put both hands on the pistol grip like a regular handgun. Oh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Makes a lot that's better. Man, it's fast. Oh, you gotta give it a shot. Yeah, I think I'll do that. All right. It's a heavy handgun this way, but and lighting up, <laughs> lighting up uh, <laughs> peep sights like this. But as you can see. Mr. Bowling Pin doesn't have a chance. I can still hit with it. It's hard to acquire that small little hole. I guess you know what? We could have probably put the larger peep up here. Have at it. See if it works. Yeah, I think that might be a little better. And uh, now that it's wanting to kind of... Oh, it's snowing now. Great. It's snow now. So, oh, well. That's better. Yeah, that's, that's the way. I guess when you utilize the sights the way they're supposed to be used, you <laughs> get a better result. <laughs> you know? Do you know the way? Yeah, but another thing I noticed, uh, a few of those rounds... We're striking right here on the shockwave blade, just right there. And uh, so they were ejecting out of the port and hitting that. Not all of them did that though. Uh, I think maybe it was due to... I think it was moving around a little bit. I think that the first time you shot it, you may have had it here, then you let go of it and it kind of got away from it. Cause the first shots, it just skipped here and went down here. Then after that, you kind of let go of it differently, and then they just started ejecting properly. I think this got away from it a little bit and let it do that. It didn't keep, it didn't malfunction with it like that. But truthfully, I had fun, you know. Yeah. You know. But that's what you got that for. <laughs> it's a little more fun in the braced position with braced. an optional shoulder fire. Braced. Yes. Well, Terry. I like this little bugger. Yeah, I'm, it's it's not going anywhere. I'm not, not going to get rid of it. So. In its stock configuration, I didn't like it. I didn't like the stock configuration either. And honestly, uh, from the moment that I bought the gun, I had plans to do a lot of different things to it. And we still have plans to do more to it as we go along. Uh, I think that we're going to go ahead and do a uh, trigger job, which you can buy all the parts for a trigger job from uh, HB Industries, the same place that we got the handguard from. Yeah, and I think that Terry's going to go with the whole Hello Kitty wrap. Uh, yes, I yes. am going with a Hello Kitty wrap. <laughs> a bearded Hello Kitty wrap. You know what? We could probably <laughs> probably have that made. Oh, golly. You know what? Being cold out here has done something to my brain function. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that it's being cold that did that. What are you trying to say? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> But, you know, like I said, I didn't like this gun. Not one bit. I'm telling you, did not. With this, I like it now. Yeah. It was easier to use. It was easier to acquire the sights uh, here than it was it with a little longer sight radius, which is not what you'd think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like this. It's easier, you know, like I say, to use now. I didn't care for it. Now, 
it's a usable firearm to me in this configuration. How much did it cost you to get here? <laughs> you know, I, I really don't even know because if I count, oh. I, it'll make me uh, yeah. it'll make me a little depressed probably. But well, it's pretty yeah. sweet though. Yeah, guns like that, you know, they can be a money pit, and uh, it's all in what you enjoy. Yep. I enjoy spending my money on guns. And hold that for a second. See? Big guy with a little gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, golly. Yes, I'm blaming it on the cold. All right. <laughs> we will get back to you guys with some more stuff here soon. Hopefully, when it's a little bit warmer out here, we will see you on the range.